I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing question that I'm often asked about NetMiko and Python is why does it take so long for NetMiko to connect to multiple network devices? Something as simple as backing up network configurations can take a long time with Python. And the reason why is that most scripts run connections to network devices sequentially rather than in parallel. Now I want to give a special thanks to Chuck Black, who's a good friend of mine and who has over 30 years of programming experience for helping us network engineers get better at this. Chuck has once again been programming for many years and started working at HP in the 1980s. Chuck is currently an Estian instructor at Estian Essentials and is a co-author of this book, Software Defined Networks, a comprehensive approach. I'm not saying this just because he's my friend, but let me recommend this book to you. If you want to learn about software-defined networking and have a detailed, comprehensive approach to SDN, get this book. Chuck and the other authors have done a great job with this book. But let's get back to Python. What Chuck has helped me do is add threading code to my Python course. So some initial examples include the retrieval of the running config of network devices sequentially using threading and using a threading pool. So let's run the first example where we get the config sequentially. What the script does essentially is use a device file as well as an encrypted credentials file to connect to network devices and then pull back the running config of those network devices. The sequential example is what most examples with Python are doing. It's connecting to one of the devices, it's logging in, retrieving the running config, and then saving that to a file. The script is doing that for every device in a devices file. And as you can see, it's taken about 37 seconds to retrieve the configuration from the network devices in this lab. So if I cat the config of one of the switches, there you go. There's the running config of one of the devices which has just been retrieved by the script. So if I remove config files, from the server and then run the threading script, it should save the configuration files, but it should do that a lot quicker. So in this example, notice it's connecting to multiple devices simultaneously, retrieving the configuration and then saving the configuration to the local hard drive. That only took 9.7 seconds, so a huge increase in performance. LS, notice here are the configuration files saved locally. So if I type more config, say 73, there's the running config of switch three in the network topology. So what I'm doing essentially is connecting to a list of devices as specified in the devices file. These are Cisco IOS devices. These scripts contain code allowing you to specify other device types such as Cisco IOS XR or Juniper or any other device that you want to add to your scripts. 
but notice there was a huge difference in the performance using the threading script. What I'll do now is run the get config thread pool example. The reason why you want to use thread pools is you can limit the number of simultaneous threads that are launched. In this example, I'll go with a default of five threads. The problem with just using pure threading is what happens if you want to scale? Let's say you've got 500 devices or 1,000 devices or 5,000 devices. You may not want the threading application to launch 5,000 simultaneous threads. So a thread pool allows us to limit the number of simultaneous threads. As you can see here, because of the additional overhead, it's taken slightly longer. If I run the thread pool script again, but I limit the number of threads to two, the script will only connect to two devices simultaneously. Once that's completed, it'll connect to the next two devices and continue through the list of devices in your devices file. This will take longer, but allows you to limit the number of connections to individual devices. In other words, limit the number of threads. So that took 23 seconds, so it's taking longer, but it's still better than a sequential script. A sequential Python script only connects to one device at a time, so it takes a lot longer to back up a device configurations. Threading and thread pools are a way to optimize your Python code and increase the speed of retrieval of information from network devices or the speed of making changes to network devices. As you can see there, it took 37 seconds to retrieve the configuration, but if we run a thread pool with five threads running in parallel, it only took about 9.4 seconds, so a huge performance increase. It makes a lot of sense to use threading with your Python scripts to increase the performance and increase the scalability of your Python scripts. Please join me in thanking Chuck for writing this code and making it available in my Python course to us as network engineers to leverage in our networks.